Welcome back to Postcards from St. Petersburg. I've traveled out to Schlüsselburg, which is on the southern tip of Lake Ladoga and is where the River Neva starts. So behind me, you can see the River Neva as it begins. And uh, as you'll see, it's somewhat different. I went this summer down to the source of the, the River Thames and walked along the Thames from its source into London. And the source of the River Thames is, uh, is a nothingness that gradually becomes a stream, that gradually becomes a river. But uh, the River Neva, coming as it does from a lake, is already massive when it starts. And it stays massive all the way until it uh, spills out. Um, it's, in total, it's uh, 46 miles along. So I'm going to be walking along it today uh, and probably most of tomorrow. It, um, it passes two main towns, Kidovsk and Atradnia. We'll have a little look at those as we go past. Uh, but Schlüsselberg here, this is, is quite a small town, about uh, 13,000 people. On my right there, which we're going to be passing, you see the start of Lake Ladoga Canal. Uh, that was uh, started by Peter the Great, whose statue you saw right at the beginning of the video. Um, and that was because the southern banks of the Ladoga were quite stormy. The other important site near to Schlüsselberg is the fortress Arechov or Areshek, uh, which is just on a small island uh, over there into Lake Ladoga. Up until October, trips can be made to see it, but uh, we're in November now and there's no trips at the moment. But that was set up in the 14th century by Grand Prince Yuri, uh, to protect Novgorod. Uh, Novgorod, no, now known as uh, Vieliki Novgorod, uh, Old Novgorod, uh, sorry, uh, Great uh, Novgorod, was the, um, was the capital, was the, was the major city at that time. That was before St. Petersburg had been built. And so we're crossing now over the uh, Old Ladoga Canal. There you can see the lock as it comes in from, um, from Lake Ladoga. And there you can see. It's, uh, it's in disuse now. There's a new... Ladoga Canal that's used instead, uh, but that was built by Peter the Great. You can also see on the uh, Neva side, over here, the Orthodox Church of St. Nicholas. So, five kilometers outside of Schlüsselberg now, we can see the first bridge, the Ladoski Most, uh, which was built in the 1970s and it takes across to the, the north bank of the Neva where the fast road is going into St. Petersburg. We're going to carry on along the slow road. I've arrived in Kirovsk after nine and a half kilometers and uh, Comrade Lenin here is pointing the way that I must continue. We're 26 kilometers now into the Neva sidewalk, just about to come into the town at Radnoya, which means uh, pleasant in the Russian language. Um, and at that point, the river will stop flowing south and take a sharp bend northwest up towards St. Petersburg. So I'm taking a short stop in at Radnaya for some shashlik and some solyanka. Uh, solyanka is one of my favorite Russian soups. It's kind of a cross between the shi, which is the uh, cabbage soup, and the rasolnik, which is the um, kind of sour uh, cucumber uh, and pickle soup. Um, and it's, it's a thicker soup than most, uh, and it often has little bits of uh, olives uh, and meat in it. Well, we're 40 kilometers into the walk, and I've just stopped at the little village of Pontoni, which basically consists of a couple of Hushovkas, as you can see, that's the name of the, uh, the Khrushchev-built uh, Soviet buildings. Um, and to pick up my energy, I've picked up a, a little bottle of this uh, Russian balsam at a small shop. Uh, which says it's made of honey and 12 spices and it's non-alcoholic. Uh, looking at the back as well as uh, honey there's, um, there's some basil, oregano, cinnamon, ginger, coriander, clove, St John's wort, calamus root, cardamom, nutmeg, mint, licorice root and lemon juice and it's non-alcoholic so let me, let me give it a pop. what it's like. 
It's really thick and gloopy, but it's tasty and warming. Well, I must apologize to Pontoni because uh, as I got further in, it became clear it was more than just a couple of Khrushchev blocks. Uh, there was uh, a railway station there, a um, couple of supermarkets and various places to eat. So apologies, Pontoni. As you see, we're back along the Nieva now. We're at 45 kilometers into our walk uh, and getting very close to the city limits of St. Petersburg which is good because the sky's starting to darken ever so slightly and it would be nice to be in St. Petersburg before it goes dark where it will be street lit. Well, as you can see by the high rises behind me, I'm safely back into the city limits of St. Petersburg now at kilometer 50 and dreaming of Shavierma. Uh, Shavierma is what the Petersburgers call um, Schwama what we call uh, meat and chips in Iraq. Uh, there are various uh, Petersburg uh, words. Uh, for instance, Padyezd, uh, which is the, uh, the entrance way to, to a building. Here is Padadnaya. Well, as you can see, it's night now. I'm arriving at uh, Proletarsky, um, Proletarian Metro, uh, which happily is on line three, the same line as my flat. So I'm gonna take the Metro back to my flat, come back here tomorrow, here's Proletarian Metro, and uh, carry on to the last, it's been 54 kilometers to today, so 20 kilometers left. It's the following morning, the Sunday morning. I've come back to Proletarian Metro. So it was quite nice about uh, two minutes ago to pass the uh, entrance to Nevsky Prospect. It was from the previous video along the Nevsky Prospect where the um, Alexander Nevsky Monastery and Alexander Nevsky statue is. But you can see we've got the beautiful wide Neva now, just passing now the uh, Bolsha Oktinsky Most. Uh, if you see there in the centre, it's a bit like the Lomonosov in the, uh, over the Fontanka with the little stone towers. And then we've got these uh, metal bits built on either side. Oktinsky, named after the Okta, which is the uh, tributary of the Neva over on the, uh, the northern bank there. So we're coming towards the delta of the river Neva now. Of course, as it approaches the uh, Finnish Gulf, it, it splits off into lots of different branches. Uh, and the first major branch here is the river Nevka, which you can see on the right. Nevka is like small Neva. Uh, and the Nevka then again splits into the big and the small Nevka. And you can see the uh, Aurora, the, the boat uh, moored on the side of the Nevka there. This is the boat that was famous for pointing its guns at the Winter Palace at the start of the, uh, the Russian Revolution. We're crossing the Troitsky Bridge across the Neva now. And it's a bit of a sad time for the true lovers of the Neva River because it's about to end. It's about to split into the Balshaya Neva, the big Neva, and the Malaya Neva, the small Neva. As you see there on this right hand fork uh, is the, uh, the Malaya Neva. And on the left hand fork is the Balshaya Neva. So what we're going to do, we're going to cross the bridge, walk around Petra Pavlovsk there, and then cross back over the other bridge on the far side, so I can show clearly the point where, where it splits. After that, we'll carry on along the Balshaya Neva as far as we can. So this is the very end of the river Neva because if you look along there to my left, you've got the Balshaya Neva, which we're now going to follow on its uh, northern bank. And if you look over there to my right, you've got the Malaya Neva, which, uh, which we're not going to follow today, the, the small Neva. Ahead, we've got Vasily Ostrovsky uh, Island, uh, and behind, we've got the, uh, the river Neva from which we've come. And you can see uh, Petra Pavlovsk there, on the side with the tower of Petropavlovsky Sabor. In reality, the best part of these riverside walks 
is seeing the change around the side of the river in the industry and the types of houses as you go along. It's exactly the same with the Thames and it is the case here. So we've just passed a, a, a museum uh, of, uh, of the Russian submarine there, which I'd like to come back to and revisit one time. And all of our touristic uh, elements on the, on the South Bank have started to disappear now and be replaced by uh, port related uh, uh, things, uh, cargo ships and whatnot. And on the, the Northern Bank on this side, we've been passing uh, university buildings uh, as this island is uh, particularly prominent for students. So pretty soon, the, even the Balshaya Neva, we won't be able to walk along it any further. As you can see, um, coming up in front of me now, it's, be it's becoming uh, shipyards and some uh, Navy, uh, Navy property. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll cross across just so we get to see the Gulf of Finland and that will be the end of our Neva side walk. So dear friends, we've come to the end of our journey now. The Balshaya Neva has spilt out of the Gulf of Finland and you can see over there the, the beautiful uh, Zussa De, uh, the, uh, the high speed western bypass uh, that, uh, that uh, it's a toll road uh, that goes along the west of uh, St. Petersburg. So I've got to get myself some beer and sausages and I should see you next week on the video of uh, Veliki Novgorod, Great Novgorod, where I'm planning a trip next weekend. So see you soon on Postcards from St. Petersburg.